opportunity to one run losses, I guess, but how does this one feel? Considering there seemed to be good energy throughout the game, you just, I mean, all there is hit is a little bit left and you're winning versus, you know, it's yeah. kind of that close. Yeah, you know, they're, they're a good team. I mean, they didn't give us uh, many opportunities, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, real proud of how our guys play, you know, because that's a big club and, you know, we went toe to toe with them and, you know, and it was, it came down to, you know, which team was going to make a mistake and, you know, we gave them an opportunity. We gave them four outs in that one inning and they, and they found a way to score, you know, so, uh, I'm real proud of what our pitchers have done. I mean, to pitch 14 innings, give up one walk, it was an intentional walk. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I thought defensively we, we made some really good plays uh, until late. Um, and we had opportunities. I mean, it seemed like we had a guy at second base, um, you know, several times there in, uh, in the end of the game and then in extra innings. And, that's, that's been holding this team back is that one hit, you know, and um, real, real pleased with how our freshmen, I mean, our freshmen got the bulk of the hits tonight, you know, between uh, Isaac and, and Parker and, and um, the right fielder. Conference play is much different than, you know, anything that we've seen so far in a non-conference. Mm -hmm. And, you know, to start out with this team here, uh, I, I think they were ready to go. And you know, we just have to, we got to find a way to get something done this weekend. It's real important that we continue to play. Did you think in those situations when you had runners on, I mean, they they, they were strike throwers. So you, you didn't want to fall behind in the count. I understand that. But you guys maybe pressing a little bit or were they a little bit too aggressive early in the count swinging it um you know the first pitch they saw well i, I you know the, the the submarine guy you know that that's that's a different look and, and with most of our guys you know having not played a lot at this level have not seen that kind of a pitching you know and um to his credit he did throw a lot of strikes we just didn't make very good adjustments we were really getting jammed because the ball was riding in on those right handers or we were hitting some weak fly ball And, you know, it's just going to take one guy to stand up there and get a big hit in a big situation. I think it will relax the whole team. But you could tell they were just, you know, they were fighting a little bit the second half of the game. I really felt like three was going to win the game. And, uh, you know, we kept on encouraging them in the fourth and fifth and sixth and seventh innings to try to find a way to get the three. Um, when you play a veteran team like that, that's a very confident team, you know, they're just going to keep playing. And, uh, you know, they, they deserve a lot of credit. They played, they played an outstanding yeah. I bet you weren't planning on throwing six, but I guess as you're going through that outing, what's it feel like to, you know, are you thinking about that or are you just trying to make pitches one by one? No, yeah, exactly that. Just one by one. You know, I didn't, you know, honestly, we were hoping that we were going to get on them at some point, get a run across. So I'll just go out there pitch by pitch, batter by batter, you know, just, just give our team a chance in the end. So, you know, I ended up kind of stretching out longer than I have before, but, you know, I'm just trying to help my team with, Whatever I can do. Uh, I guess the bases loaded situation was a big spot for you. I mean, at that point, you had been feeling some fatigue, you know, being those for 16 and no work. How did you get out of that? Yeah, no, definitely was feeling a little fatigue there and kind of on fumes there in the end. Last couple innings, I was getting a little tired. My arm was dragging a little bit. But yeah, I mean, I knew, I knew at that point I was kind of getting to the end of my outing regardless. So I was just kind of letting it all go and just to hope, keeping my team in the game there. So. Gave it everything I got. What was working tonight for you? Uh, just fastball, slider. I'm a two pitch kind of guy, so I'll just mix in pitches, trying to keep them off balance, just throw around the zone, and then, uh, you know, the ball was going right at our, our defenders, and they're making good plays behind, so it just kept the rhythm of the game going, and, yeah, it was a good job yep. by our whole team there. I mean, statistically, that's one of the best offenses in the country. They hit for average, they get on base, and they're not, not necessarily a lot of power, but I, I guess when. You, I'm sure you know that. What? How do you approach a team like that that you know is aggressive and has some pretty good hitters at least? Yeah, no, our, our coaches did a good job. Uh, we had a good scouting report before the game on them. Uh, individual hitters, whether they're aggressive, take pitches early or whatnot. So just, just mixing up pitches on them, trying to keep them off balance. Uh, you know, Raleigh did a great job starting off the game there. So when he came out, you know, we, before I'd go out, we'd look at 
what his sequencing with pitches was and then try to mix it up on them. So if they're if you starting off fastball on guys, I would try to go slow on them, slide on them, spin it over, and then start the at bat and then keep attacking them. That was kind of the goal. 